This video is brought to you by Ice Mountain Spring Water. It's as cold as ice and tastes as good as a mountain. Ice Mountain Spring Water. What's up YouTube, it's Thetagem, and today in Final Fantasy II for the NES, we're going to tackle the Mesidian Tower. Now I know it looks like I've been away for a long time, and I have been. It's been a few months since I've uploaded a video in this series, but that's for good reason. I have been leveling the ever-living crap out of my spells. Why? I mean, you certainly don't need to. You don't need to level up. Well, there's a couple of spells that I don't typically use in a playthrough, and I wanted to mess with them this time, and I wanted to show you what they look like. So I've been just walking around back and forth over there at Mesidia, getting into random battle after random battle and fighting some enemies over there, and leveling up my instant death spells, as well as some other stuff. And so I figured it's a good spot to level, because you can exhaust your MP, get beat up a little bit, come right over here to LT and save at the inn. So here I am fighting a couple of really easy enemies, and this is by design. I, I want to show you that these spells do in fact work, um, but on tougher enemies like we're going to be fighting at this point in the game, they work very, very rarely. I think these guys probably have a higher level of success with some of these spells. So as you can see, I've got Cure on Richard, and that's about it, and there we go, we just turned our first enemy into a frog. And we've got other spells here that we're going to try as well. We're going to try to warp, we're going to try the instant death spell just called death, and uh, we have another one called break. It looks like brack in your in your uh, spell list. But we've got death here, spelled the way that Megadeth spells their name. They just came out with a new album the other day, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Pick it up, it's worth a listen. Okay, here we go, let's see if they work the second time around. Here we go, we just warped a hornet. Just a random heal there. Okay, break worked. That's what that looks like. And here's death. Perfect. Okay, so those are some instant death spells that we have. Now, I typically wouldn't level up all four of those. I don't think I've ever leveled warp in my life. But I did it this playthrough just because I wanted you to see what some of those spells look like if you do level them up. Most of the spells in this game have different effects whether you cast them on yourself or on enemies. So here in the item shop I'm just going to sell all of the junk that I've been picking up from having battled all these random encounters. And then I'm going to show you what my characters have equipped so that you can see what I'm going into the Mesidian Tower with. There we go. Yep. And I'm going to switch out that axe for a shield. I'm just going to show you the stats here. You see how our evade is 7-32? If we put a shield on, that's going to go up a little bit. Let's give it a look. So what I'm looking for right now is the diamond shield. It has resistance to lightning, and all the floors in the Mesidian Tower, well not all of them, but there's elemental floors and elemental bosses, and so lightning's going to come in handy. And look, our evade has gone up a little bit, and everything else stayed the same. Perfect. So I'm going to head back in the item shop, sell the crap I don't need, buy some stuff I do, see you back here in a bit. Alright, so this is what I've chosen to enter the Mesidian Tower with. Let's go. I'm just going to give you another look into what we're working with here as I put my Black Mage in the front row. You don't need to do that, but she'll get attacked a little bit more, and her attacks will do more damage by doing so. And I'm hoping to raise her HP a little bit, so that's why I put her up there. Let's take a look and see what our magic's looking like these days. As you can see, I leveled the crap out of these things. I spent hours upon hours just fighting the same enemies over and over again so that I could give you warp level 6. <laughs> uh, it's a fun spell to mess with, but it does take some time to level up. I also leveled up life. I was curious to see if it would bring our characters back with more HP. I think that's what it does when you level it up. Uh, let's take a look at our Black Mage. Now, she's got room for only one more spell, and we're going to get one spell for free inside the Mesidian Tower. I leveled up Death, um, and I leveled up Stop a little bit, as well as Curse, if you remember the Ancient Sword that um, added the Curse status. Aura, I started to level up, and I decided not to, because it is almost identical to Berserk, and Aura just doesn't do as good of a job. So, fuck that spell. 
Also, this one here, Aspel, I'm not sure what it's actually supposed to be, but um, that will poach MP from enemies. So you don't necessarily need to use ethers or elixirs on your Black Mage if you have this spell leveled up. I usually forget that I have it, but I've been having a lot of fun with it recently, and, um, well, that's why our MP is probably not as high as it would be. It's because I've been using that. Okay, let's take a look at our fighter turned red mage. Um, yeah, we got Berserk leveled up. I can't wait to show you that spell. That spell's really, really good. Uh, Ice is going to be <laughs> our, our lowest spell, which sucks because we are going to need it in the Mesidian Tower. Like I told you before, some of the floors are elemental. And so at the end, you're going to fight different bosses that are weak to different elements, and ice is going to be one of them. So it sucks that that one's not leveled up quite as much as fire. But I've got Drain here. That'll steal some HP from enemies, so I don't need to go in there with uh, a bunch of potions or anything like that. And you can see here that with Richard, I just leveled up the Cure spell. I'm not really going to buy any more spells for him. I don't need them. He's really just there to make sure that my other players don't burn through their MP. All right, with that, let's save at the inn and head on over to the Mesidian Tower. You guys have heard me jabbering on long enough. Let's just go ahead and continue the story. Say goodbye to LT. Okay, and we just head west through this little opening here. Whoop, whoop. And we use the crystal rod. Open up the Mesidian Tower, and hear the epic music. Okay, so here's what you do. We're going to go over uh, clockwise and get all the treasure that's on this floor. That is going to be useless. We'll throw that away. But first, it is our first battle in the Mesidian Tower, and how are we going to go about doing this? We've leveled up our weapons as well as our spells, and so I want to make sure I show you a little bit of everything. I'll just fight with you, I'll cast Bolt with you, and I'm casting this on everybody. It's hard to see those cursors like that, but I'm hoping that those bombs just blow each other up. They'll blow themselves up, really. They don't blow each other up, they try to blow me up. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Alright. The rest of my characters aren't going to do much of anything, because they were all attacking the guy in the front. Hmm. Well, that's exactly what I was hoping for, but I kind of assumed I was going to get damaged by that. Alright, on to the next. Okay, so if you want to grab the treasure on this floor, just keep on going around clockwise. There's... Two more canes, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's useless treasure. You don't need to get it, but um, it's there. As for these two guys, well, we know that they're weak to curative magic and fire. So let's see. Oh, holy will probably work pretty good, too. Let's try that. And there's fire for both of them. We'll see what our fighter turned red mage is going to do here. I mean, I don't want to drag these battles out more than I have to. I could absolutely cast fire on these two jokers and be out of here, but I leveled up Toad, and I want to use it, and I know that's going to make some of these battles take longer than it should because it's going to miss. But you level these things up for a reason, and it's to have fun with them, so I'm going to do my best here to turn this guy into a frog. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oof, they tried to curse me. Yep, that's about what you can expect when you cast those instant death spells. They don't work all that well. They are fun when they do, though. Man, I thought that'd do a little bit more damage than that. Okay, let's just fight then. I'm not even sure what I just cast there. Let's go back. Let's go with fire and we'll just fight with... Nah. Should I try the toad again? Fuck it. Let's try the toad again. 
Or Brack. Brack is, Brack is the better spell. It's a level higher. Let's try Brack. Yeah. Okay. This should be the end of it. Alright. Sorry I dragged that one out, but that's what this tower is going to be like, because I leveled up these instant death spells, and I'm going to try to use them. Alright, so, moving around, you can walk through one of these walls. I'm not sure if it's this side or the other. It looks like it's the other. There's also a chest over here that has another cane in it. Let's get that first. Hmm, must be the lower portion of the wall. Okay, we got some imps and some werewolves. Now, we've been fighting these for... Well, we've, we've encountered them before. But uh, I'll leave some of these battles in. These imps can confuse you, and the werewolves can poison you. And I think maybe the imps can poison you as well. But these guys can have inflict a whole bunch of status effects on you. And if they don't run away, which they do a lot, um, you can be in some trouble. So don't take these battles too lightly, even if you are as leveled up as I am. One of your party members gets confused and kills everybody. I mean, it's a really easy thing to have happen. Okay, just one guy left. We'll just pile on him. They usually take two turns to beat, um, or two characters attacking him to beat. Uh, but if you do cast the Berserk spell, you can do it in one round. Okay, so let's go to our magic. We'll clean up our poison, and we'll go and get the white robe. Now, I'm not taking a single solitary step. We're putting this on right now. And, as usual, our hand-me-downs will go to one of our other characters. In this case, it's going to be Richard. It's a nice upgrade for you. And let's just go ahead and drop some stuff now. We know that we don't want these two canes. We know we don't need the knight armor. Let's just get rid of it because we're going to get a lot of crap in this dungeon. And we want to make sure we can carry it. I also want to let you know that uh, Pickle has two ethers equipped in his item slots. So I've got two more ethers that I'm letting on here. And another cane. So if you want to skip all of that treasure, just go for the white robe. It's really the only thing that you need on this floor. Those three canes are garbage. And here, we've got ourselves the fire floor. I just uh, did a little bit of inventory management there. We'll cut that out. And we're going to go up and get the treasure in the upper right. All right, so as you can see, you can walk through that wall. So if you would have went the other way, you can take that as a shortcut, but we don't need it because we're not going in that room to the top. We're just not. There's nothing in there. I am not going in there. You're going to have to trust me. In fact, there aren't any rooms in this dungeon that have anything in them except rooms that take you to the next floor. So, uh, yeah, there aren't any treasure rooms in this whole tower, so... I'll show you some of them, but I'm not going in all of them. Okay, now, we're going to go up and to the left, but first we've got a big horn and a flyer in the way. And I think I'm just going to attack. Let's see if we can get out of here with just attacks. One round. Come on. I don't believe this dungeon has any characters or any enemies that we haven't already seen, so... Okay, there's one. Couldn't get it done in one round. Ooh. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go to the left now, and we'll go up first because down is how we progress to the next floor. Okay, we've seen mantises before, um, a while back, I think, 
Uh, we are pretty, pretty leveled up at this point, and they're probably going to run away from us. In fact, the vamp girls might do that as well. So, uh, let's try and, uh, let's see. What are we going to do? Let's try and kill them before they leave. Can't reach the mantises right now because they're in the third row. So let's try some of our instant death stuff, see if we can't get them before, before they try to run away. Really, Holy should do more damage against these vampires. Oh no, that was not good at all. I expected better. Ooh, all right, turn him into a toad. Damn. Okay, well now that I can reach the back row, I'll just attack him. And we'll attack you, and no, 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 no. Oh, uh, oh. It's so stupid when <laughs> you're trying to select the character that you want to attack. Please don't let Richard hit himself. Yep. Fucking jackass. Alright, just like last round, only better. Get the hell out of here. Okay. I guess I can deal with that. I'll just heal myself up. I'll cut it all out. Okay, treasure chest up here. Again, don't worry about that door. It's empty. There's nothing in there. Just a quick battle. Nothing to see here. Moving on to the second floor. Alright, I'll cut that one out as well. Okay, so there's the stairs going to the second floor. Now, when we get there, it's going to look a little familiar. See those tiles on the floor? It's just like the Gurgu Volcano from Final Fantasy 1. All of those tiles will deal you fire damage. However, when you're stepping on them, you can't get into random encounters. As a result, there aren't going to be too many uh, fights on this floor. So, although all the rooms on this floor are empty... I'm going to go in them in the hopes of triggering some random battles because there's a new version of a Malboro that we haven't seen yet. And he's in here somewhere. That wasn't it. Yep, just another empty room. Go over to the west. There's going to be another one. And then the last door will take us to the next area. And just so you know, before you go in this last door, you can't return back to this area without the warp spell or without the exit spell. So don't go through that door unless you're ready to. Not that you wouldn't be. Just a interesting way that they trap you in this tower unless you use the exit spell or finish it. Because when you finish the tower, it automatically warps you outside. Okay, we finally got ourselves a new enemy. It's not the one I was looking for, but we got this one. It's a DV flower. I believe that stands for Devil Flower. These things are weak to fire and ice, and um, they can cast the Confuse status as well as Poison. So I'm going to start this one out with Shell, and then... I, I mean, I know I could blast them with fire or ice, but typically they run away. So I'm just going to try to fight, and we'll, <laughs> we'll hopefully catch them. Yeah. Looks like this one's going to round two. Damn. Oh. Okay. Well, next time I encounter some of those, I'll keep the battle in. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than that. 
All right, so I've been walking back and forth a little bit, trying to uh, fight some more of those things, those DV flowers, as well as find the upgraded version of the Malboro, but it's just not happening, so I'm going to cure myself up here and move on. Treasure over here. Got ourselves a flame helmet. And what the hell, we'll put that on. There we go. And I know that I'm not going to use this thing, so we'll just get rid of it now. There we go. And we'll get rid of this thing, too. Okay. And in this corner... Alright, and Richard is already wearing the flame armor, so we know we don't need it on him. Let's just take a look at what we got working with here. White robe. Okay, I'm content with what my characters have going on here. Let's just go ahead and do the battle. Now, as you can probably imagine, this one's going to be the fire Gygus, and he's weak to ice. And that's not how we wanted to start things out. But I'll start off with casting shell, just in case something like that happens again. And if you remember, our Black Mage is equipped with the Ice Bow, and so she's going to be able to do a lot of damage with physical attacks, but others will not be. And so we're going to cast Ice with our Red Mage here, and we'll just fight with Richard because we don't really have much of a choice unless I want to heal, which I, I don't need to. I'd rather try for the HP upgrade at the end. And now that we have Shell on, we're going to cast Berserk on our Black Mage, and hopefully she'll be able to take him out. This will be... I think this will be like your first good look at Berserk, so... Alright, so 326 without Berserk. fight and I don't know should I cast ice or should I do an instant death spell that's definitely not gonna work I'd like your, I'd like for you to see what, uh, what my black mage can do but I'm, I'm gonna cast ice because that's the right move hopefully she gets a turn she might not Oh, yeah, we do get a turn. Cool. Yeah, see, that's a lot more damage than we did the first time. What was it the first time? 326, and we did 530, so... An extra 200 damage there from that spell. It's Berserk is pretty awesome. Okay, let's just cure everybody up. Hmm. Yeah, you have Ice at a level 4, she has it at a level 6. I wonder how much more damage that would have done. Alright, we'll heal everybody with Richard. Okay, so that's the fire floor. Welcome to the ice floor. And our first battle here is with a couple of chimeras, a couple of specters, and a devil flower. So we've got some undead here and some stuff that would be vulnerable to fire. Should we just attack the first round? Let's try and take care of that Chimera in the first round. Hopefully we also take care of the Spectre, otherwise we're going to have to use magic for the people in the back row. Chimera in the world. And the Spectre falls. Alright. Just gonna split up my attacks. No reason to use magic here. Thank you. 
And the last guy. There we go. That's just going to put enemies to sleep. I don't really want it. I, I shouldn't have taken that. I'm just going to end up dropping it anyway, but whatever. Okay, in here we've got ourselves an ice shield. And if you look at it, I mean, the, the flame shield would be better on this floor. <laughs> I'm still going to equip it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. And you, you're protecting yourself against poison, so let's see. Is this better? I don't know. We'll protect against poison. There's a lot of enemies in here that like to poison you. I, you could absolutely optimize your equipment for the floor that you're on. And I'm sure it would be smart to do that, but I'm so overpowered here, I'm not going to bother. And I, to be honest with you, I normally don't bother anyway. Alright, so we'll heal you up in battle. What are we gonna do here? I'll cure myself twice. And I'll cure up Richard. There we go. Good as new. Alright, and I'm just going to double up on them. Hopefully they don't run away. Okay. Great. Okay, well I'm going to try to cure them of poison. And then we'll just fight. Hopefully it doesn't run away. Oh, what? Huh. Skitty be 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 be. Okay. Business as usual, you know what to do. We're just going to cure them of poison. Got ourselves the Ice Lance. Alright, some Vamp Girls. Let's see, I'll just fight the first one and then we'll use... I need some HP, we'll use Drain. This will take their HP away and give it to me, so... It's a easy way to heal yourself in battle as well as damage the enemy and heal yourself, so kind of a cool move. Okay, we don't get to do it on her. Wait a minute, did that take HP away from me? I think it might have. I wonder if that's because she's undead. Let's try to warp her, and I'm going to check that again, because I'm not sure I saw that right. Do drain with you, and let's try Brack. Yeah, let's try Brack. I know it's Brake. I'm calling it Brack. I don't care. Oh, well, I guess we don't get to find out. Weird, I, I, I swear it took my HP away. I'll have to try that again. See the treasure chest I'm gonna jam over to. Got ourselves an ice armband. Can put that on you. The giant's armband or gloves or whatever they are, its claim to fame is it gives you 10 to strength. If you look, my attack is gonna go down by five and my defense is gonna go up by five equipping the ice gloves. Well, that's exactly what I want because it also gives me 5% more to evade and 5 more points in to defense. So 
the ice gloves are better. Now, it's important to attack this red soul with a physical attack because we know that we need to kill the mallows and the puddings with magic. And the red soul will absorb all elemental magic and heal itself. So we have to attack it first. Now that it's out of the way, we can uh, feel free to go ahead and use magic with our other characters. Now, whatever order your characters have been going in, as far as attack order is concerned, make sure you know that so that you can attack that thing first, kill it, and use magic with everybody else. And this will be over before you know it. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to make a left here. Both paths go to the same spot, but there's a chest up here that's on the way if we go to the left. So we're going to do that. Got ourselves the ice armor. You can equip that if you like. Just want to show you the rest of the room's empty. Let's go up the stairs. And it's hard to see, but there's really only one path you can take. Especially when the screen's flashing like that, it's definitely hard to see where you can walk, but there's really only one path. See how everything's blocked off here? Okay. Carrying too much. Well, it's time to use a couple of these ethers that we've got. And... I'm going to go ahead and throw this volume in the trash, and I'll ether up, and uh, there we go. We got ourselves the ice sword. Now, if we go to equip, we're going to put that on you. There we go. Nice. And the flame sword is going to go on Richard. Excellent. So, next battle that we get into, it doesn't matter what it's going to be, I'm going to show it uh, just so you guys can see how much more damage that th those two characters can do now that they have different weapons. So, here we go. Our first encounter after our new weapons. We'll just attack. And that is a significant upgrade. There we go. Take the job. All right, our first look at a basilisk. Now, these guys can, I think the spell is called glare, but they turn you to stone. And uh, if you encounter three or four of these like this, it could be an easy game over, but I have a feeling they're going to run away. So let's see if we can put them to sleep so that they stick around a little bit here. I'm debating on different instant death spells. Let's go with Toad. And we'll just heal the whole party with you. Okay, so hopefully that protects us from getting turned into rocks. And yep, there goes the first one, there goes the second one, and here goes the third one. How anticlimactic. Okay, next time we run into a group of those, I'll leave that battle in. Okay, another mage. We know the drill. Okay, let's just give our characters a once-over, prepare for this battle, and get to it. Okay, we've got ourselves the Ice Gygus, and as you can expect, this guy is weak to fire. But he can also cast Ice 12 or 16, I'm not sure which. But we're going to go ahead and put Shell on, 
And then we're going to put Berserk on um, Richard because he has the Flame Sword, right? So we'll cast Fire with this guy. We'll attack with this guy. And this battle should be over before you know it. Ooh. Wow. And I expected a lot more out of you, Richard. What the... Oh, 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 oh. He went before I cast Berserk on him. What should I do now? Screw it. Let's do it. That's right. I'm going to rattle your goddamn head with Dave Mustaine's flying V. Try a couple of instant death spells here, and uh, you know what? Let's just have a round. Let's heal up. He casts Ice 12, but I believe we have Shell on, so it shouldn't do as much damage as it normally would. I didn't think that instant death spell would work. Not against the boss, anyway. Yeah. This guy. This guy doesn't know music when he hears it. So, we'll protect against physical attacks there. And... What do we want to do? If I use this, it makes my black magic more potent. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't need to do that. Um... Let's try the other instant death spell. just fight with you. You've got Berserk on now. Yeah, I know I'm dragging some of these battles out, but like I said, I, I, I've never really upgraded these instant death spells this much before, and so, uh, at least not this many of them, so, I don't know. Having fun kind of giving it a go here. It's not working so well, though. Alright, well, that was a ton of damage from Richard once Berserk was put on him. <laughs> that spell is pretty awesome. And we got the, f the stop spell. All right. I mean, I guess I can get rid of this giant armband or gloves or whatever they are. Hmm. We'll put stop on you as an item. That way I can just get rid of it later. Cast a different spell with Richard for once. Okay. On this floor, just like every single other one, all the rooms are empty. There's one here, and there's one directly south of where that door is. We'll go in both of them, but they're empty. As for this path to the south right there, it's a dead end, so don't bother. You again. All right. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Let's try... Let's warp you. Yeah, why not? Screw it. Then we'll try death with you. And... Break with you. And you can just attack. Hmm. All right, come on, Dave Mustaine. <laughs> I healed him? Okay, don't use that one. What am I doing now? Um, uh, it's a nice fight. I'll just fight. Let's just get out of this one. All 
Okay, so the death spell heals the devil flower. That kind of sucks. Oh, and you can see he hit us and we got confused status, so if that would have went to a second round, our black mage would have been attacking us. Okay, that status doesn't persist after the battle. Fantastic news. Let's go up here. Empty room. Alright, down south. Empty room. Ooh, a couple of these guys. Let's see if they'll stick around for battle this time. Uh, cast shell. Protect against magic. We will try to put this guy to sleep. Uh, we did toad last time, right? I think we did. Didn't work. Try to blind him? Why not? Yep, that didn't work. And he ran away. And that one ran away. Perfect. I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's try that. Try it twice. Ooh, it just tried to turn us to stone. Didn't work out so well. And there we go. That's what that spell's supposed to do. Cool. Moving on. All right, to the empty room. As we journey left, you'll see that dead end I told you about. And we're going to go up. There's a chest here. Carrying too much. All right, so here's where we're going to do the ethers. I thought I was going to do it earlier, but I didn't. we we'll do it here. And I know that I put ethers on my black mage. It is what it is. I should have been using the, uh, the Aspil spell, but I, I, like I said, I sometimes I forget I have it. It's not one that I use all that often, but okay. Another one of these guys. What do we want to do? Yeah, let's just fight it. We'll cast Berserk on our on our fighter and we'll just go for it. Let's let's see how much damage he does once he's got Berserk on. Should be a lot. Ooh, he's trying to turn us to stone. There you go. On to the next floor. Now, just so you know, if you want to just progress the story in the game, go straight up because all the treasure on this floor is garbage and all the rooms are empty. We're gonna throw that thread away, we don't need it. So if you wanna just continue, go straight up once you reach this floor. Nothing in there. If we go up, there's another room and another treasure chest. Gonna throw those away. Empty room. Head left. Gonna throw that away. Empty room. Oh, but first, a couple more of these. All right, let's try to try to fight them without them running away. Maybe it'll actually turn us to stone this time. We'll see. What do I want to do? We'll split them up.
Okay. Not enough. <laughs> also not enough. Alright, round two. Fight. was going to go down with that one. Well, it's all over now. Just gang up on him. Perfect. Okay. In this room, it's empty. Let's go. And with that, we have been all over this room. We've got three pieces of useless treasure. We went into three empty rooms. Let's just continue the story. All right, a group of imps. We've been ambushed. And they're trying to charm us. And it's working. Wow. Three of them. Okay. Looks like it's all up to my my white mage. Well, if they start attacking each other, that's a quick way to gain some max HP. Oh, we're poisoned too, huh? Okay. What should I do? Let's go with Holy. Nope, oh, that didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping it would. And now the rest of this round is them beating us up and my guys beating each other up, so... some trouble here. What do I want to do? Um. Yeah. Oh, and now they're going to start running away. <laughs> These things have us dead to rights and they're running away. Hey, I'll take it. That could have been game over there. Good as new. battle. This time it's the Thunder Gygus. And we're going to start this out the same way we start out all of them. We're going to cast Shell. Or no, you know what? Screw it. Let's cast Berserk. And we'll uh, try to get some MP from you. We'll do the Aspil spell. And with any luck, you could have been doing this on the other ones as well. With any luck, we take all of his MP away, and he can't cast magic. We'll see if it works. Damn. Uh, 
Okay, I'd say that worked pretty damn well. What should I do now? Let's just fight him. We got Berserk on everybody, right? Damn! What? <laughs> Alright. Perhaps I should have cast Safe. We'll have to bring her back. <laughs> We've got two people with a life spell. Let's double it up. And you can attack for your paltry damage. Okay, now if memory serves, that means she will not have Berserk on her. I mean, too little too late, right? But, hmm. Okay, let's think about this. We know the instant death spells aren't going to do anything, but fire might. Let's give that a go. And with you... Should I just do it twice? Hmm. Yeah, let's try to steal some HP from you instead. And we'll do fire with you. There. Attacking does. Unless you're Richard. Okay. Yeah, I guess that was worth it. About 400 HP there. We'll try Holy and we'll. What should we do? Let's try Fire, I guess. Let's try fire after we up our black magic ability. We'll use an Elder IQ. I think this might be the first time in the game that we've ever used an Elder IQ. So let's see what happens here. Make sure my black mage gets a turn because I want to see what that thing did. Let's just play it the way we've been playing it. Go with fire. And then. Hmm. Shouldn't be this hard. I know this isn't going to work. I know this spell is not going to work. Neither is that one. Let's just try to drain some HP away. And we'll just fight with you. Okay. What is she going to do? That wasn't really all that much of an increase. Huh. Oh well. Good enough. What's next? You again. Okay, well, let's cast Berserk on ourselves, I think, and then go from there. Where is it? There we go. Haste? No. Haste is multi-attack up, and Berserk is, like, attack damage up. So, with Haste, you just hit extra times, and with Berserk, you do more damage per hit. They probably work pretty good together, but I don't know that I've ever cast them both in the same round.
Oh yeah, look at that. Turns you to a toad. I mean, is there any reason to do anything other than fight? We put Berserk on. As I was saying before that battle, every room on this whole floor is empty. Just go north. Well, looks like the gang's all here. Let's try that. Let's try to curse them all. In fact, let's try to turn them all into toads, too. I've never... I don't think I've ever tried to attack an entire group of enemies with, with toad before. We'll see, if we, we'll see if we get one. Could be cool to see them all hopping away. I hope we get all of them. Oh, come on. At least get one. Spells are a lot less effective when you cast them on everybody. That sucks. I was hoping to get somebody. At least they're not confusing us and poisoning us. Well, at least they're not confusing us. <laughs> take away all your MP. And then let's let's try to let's try to break them all. Maybe that'll get one of them. Oh no. Now we are confused. Shit. So okay, we'll finish out this round with the commands that we set. But after this, they're on their own. They'll all be uh, on autopilot, just probably attacking us. Oh, I got one. Come on, get one more. maxed out on the first one. I... These guys must have a lot more MP than I thought. Okay, now what? We are in trouble now. At least they're not attacking the white mage. I mean, if they put him on the ground, this would be game over. Yeah, attack anybody you want, just not fuck. Oh, and just like that. I don't know why they run away like that. I mean, they absolutely had us beat. I'm not complaining, though. Okay, I can't remember if there's anything over here to the left. I know there's a treasure chest up here somewhere. I do- I, I also know it's not in this door. Okay, I know there's a treasure chest up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Three more of these guys. Watch them all just run away. Well, not that one. 
but that one did, and that one did. Okay, great. What do I want to do? I'll just fight it. And we'll try to take some MP from it. Alright, you dick, you got us. Huh, it didn't give me any MP. I guess you can cast that without using magic? Hmm. I don't think we can heal stone in battle. I really don't think we can. Pretty sure we can get him outside of battle, though. And as you can tell with my uh, my fighter pickle there, I tried putting that evil staff or evil blade or whatever the hell it is that we caught in the uh, the fire realm or whatever. But my ability with that weapon class is so low that despite the fact that it is a better weapon, I'm not doing very well with it. So I just switched it back. Okay, Flare, that is black magic. It is elemental, non-elemental black magic. So we'll be putting that on our black mage. First, we'll fight this asshole. And as you can see, Richard's in the back row because he got turned to stone and I didn't fix that after the last battle. So it's nice to know that that trend is continuing in my gameplay. do anything, so we'll just use this. Getting our asses kicked. Okay, that didn't work. That did... This dungeon. There's a treasure directly to the north of us. But first, let's put Richard in the front row finally. This is garbage treasure, you don't need it, but I wanted to show you those four doors up there. The one that we need to go into is the second one from the left. The other three are empty. And no, I'm not going to show you that. It's time you trust me. Garbage we don't need. Minor spoiler, there's a chest in the upper right corner of this room that contains some armor that we want, but it also contains a boss battle. So before you open it, make sure you're ready. Me? I was born ready, son. Take the job. Alright, a big dragon. You love to see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast Shell on ourselves because he gives you um, a lot of magical attacks. We might do a round where we do safe as well, depending on how things are going. But we're absolutely going to cast Berserk on everybody and then beat the ever-living shit out of this guy. Let's do it. Let's try to take his MP as well. That way maybe he uh, has to rely on physical attacks instead of magic because he can cast Ice 16 on the entire party and that might not be so good. Really have much of a choice with you other than to cure or heal. Uh, cure or heal. Cure or attack. We'll just go with the cure for one round of preparation and then it's balls to the wall. So, okay. We are protected against magic attacks. We now have uh, increased attack ourselves. And 
There's I-16. But we have Richard. He's going to heal us all up. So this, this it's basically going to cancel this attack out. So not a problem. Didn't quite cancel it out, but whatever. Good enough. And now, we have full MP with our Black Mage, which is perfect. And we'll just start going to town. Let's see, what do I want to do? It's obviously weak to fire, let's do that. Should I cast fire with both of them? Remember, Richard has the Flame Sword, so he should be doing extra damage here. Oh. That's pretty badass. Let's heal up. I'll do this with you. Try fire with you. Now let's let's just do another curative round. We can't chance this. We'll do cure on everybody with you. Okay. Don't want anybody to die. Okay, that should protect us against uh, physical attacks. Expected that cure to give us a little bit more than that. Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, I don't really have any MP. I don't have much of a choice but to attack with you. Um, it's got to be fire, right? Right? What about you? Double it up? Yeah. Perfect. Boo, 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 boo. All right, let's go downstairs, enter the second door from the left, and mosey on. These guys again? Don't you have somewhere to run off to? got two of us. Yeah, they got three of us. or confuse him. Damn it. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Okay, so everybody in my party is confused except for my white mage. That's amazing. Black Mage became unconfused. That's good. <laughs> Richard, hey, Richard hates himself. That's not good. This is probably the most difficult time we've had with these imps since we 
got into the Mesidian Tower. They, they usually just run away. Alright, well, Richard's dead. Or do I just fight? I think I think you have to just fight, right? Ugh. We'll try it. Come on. But if this does not work, I'm not doing it a second time. Ooh. Come on now. Hey. Okay, so he's at 1180 now. I wonder what he's going to be at afterwards. Okay, 1180 to 1230, that's not bad. Second door from the left, just go straight up. And there are no enemies on this floor at all. But who the hell is that? It's Min. Remember, he got lost in Mesidia? Everybody's wondering where he was, they told us to go find him. Well, we found him, what's he gotta say? I am going to focus all of my power on this door. Stand back. All right, Min. Do your thing. Holy shit, Min's a Ghostbuster. Min, you okay? I feel dizzy. I need to lie down. Min! Squeeze! All right, I'm done. Okay, this room is empty aside from these five orbs here. Do not touch the middle one until last. What these do is they give you plus 10 to one of your characters in a random category. Well, it's not a random category, they're all the same. So that's 10 to strength, this one's 10 to speed, the top right one is 10 to black magic, the top left one is 10 to white magic. The people who get these 10 uh, bonus points to those categories are completely randomized, but you want to make sure you get the middle one last because it warps you out of here and you would have to go all the way back through this dungeon to get the middle one. And I've stalled for quite a while now. I'm done. It's Ultima. Let's get it. Boom. And now, that is non-elemental white magic. So we've got Flare, which is non-elemental black magic. We've got uh, Ultima, which is non-elemental white magic. Now I'm putting on the black robe because that has a plus 10 to intelligence, which is going to make me do spells better, and it has much higher magic defense. Having said that, I'm going to put the black... whatever that is, the black shirt, I guess, on Richard. Now I'm going to teach my white mage Ultima, there it is. I'm going to teach my Black Mage Flare. That should max out her list there. She can't learn anything more. And now, now that we're done with the Mesidian Tower, it is time to head back to Alti. There it is. And I just... what What's going on with Alti? Why does it look like that? Huh. And what's going on with the random encounters? How come we're not fighting bugs? <laughs> we used to fight hornets, and now we're fighting these assholes? Alright, well, let's get to it. Well, I'll start off. What should I do? Let's make sure we're protecting against magic. And... We'll just try Flare for the first time, why not? It's not really going to do anything at such a low level, but... 
Let's just see what the animation looks like. Gotta start leveling it somehow. Okay, looks like it's only doing 10 damage to there, 12 there. 23, okay. 27, all right. Yeah, I put Shell on, it's supposed to protect against magic, so it would have done more if I wouldn't have done that. They're trying to curse me. Good thing it didn't work. Oh my god, they're trying to cast death? They're playing the conjuring over here. Oh, you prick! I just met my symphony of destruction. How many Omega Death references can we make? Lots. A whole lot. Okay. Well, that spell sucks. Yeah, you gotta start leveling it somewhere. Yeah. It's a start. What should I do? Should probably try to bring this guy back from the dead, but I'm not going to. Yep, let's just do it. Okay, I can get behind that. Charm, they're trying to confuse us now too. Oh god, I thought that would do so much more damage than that. 59? You hate to see it. Okay. Just the jolly green giant left. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Aura is an absolute garbage spell. I could sell these, but honestly, I don't need the money, so... Well, I should just put them on Richard. Okay, let's bring him back to life here. There you go. I'll cure everybody up. Two more ought to do it. Ooh, okay, one more did it. Let's go to our items and we'll put those spells on Richard. Probably never gonna use them. Should I put a death? I'll put death on you. I'll probably use that. I'll probably try to use that. Aura can go on Richard because I'm not putting it on anybody else. I'm not gonna use it. Haste. I guess I can give that to Richard too. I'm not gonna really use that either. It doesn't matter. Alright. I mean, sure. So, as you may have noticed... Oh no, I'm getting into another battle. I'll just split up my attacks. <laughs> I'm in the back row because I died. I One of these days, I'm going to remember... <laughs> to put my character in the front row after a battle in which I die or get turned to stone. I, I swear I'm going to remember that one day, but today is not that day. Okay. So we'll just split up our attacks again. I don't know. Sure. And I 
think I only had one person attack in the top. That'd be, uh, Pickle. And we did not get it done. Alright, last round. Man, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Perfect. So, as you may have noticed before that battle, the Emperor has destroyed Alti. And, well, we're not able to go and replenish our HP and MP in the inn like we normally do. Good thing is, we've got ourselves a cottage. I just don't see it anywhere. Oh, shit. Okay, so that'll do. And we'll save our game as well, because it's been a while since we've done that. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Okay, well, the Emperor destroyed LT. What a dick. We don't know if there's other towns out there that were also destroyed. We just don't know the state of things. But we do know that Gordon and Hilda are safe in Castle Finn. So that's probably going to be our next stop. We got to go tell them the bad news about Min. We got to find out what the hell has been happening while we were in the Mesidian Tower. And, oh boy, the game is just about to start opening up because all the enemies on the main map are now super, super difficult in comparison to what they used to be. So I'm going to wrap it up here, you guys. I think that this is more than enough content to fill out about an hour and a half video on YouTube. That tower is no joke. It takes a long time. But in any event, I hope you guys had fun watching. I'm having fun playing. And we've got uh, maybe three or four more of these videos coming out before this game's over. So uh, we're about to start figuring out all kinds of things that are happening in this story. And it's about to get real damn good if it hasn't been for you already. So... Anyways, if you look at the bottom left of this video, you'll see my little Jabber Scotch logo. If you click that, you'll be able to subscribe to my channel. So if you like this video, you may want to consider doing that. In any event, leave me a comment and thumbs up my video because, I mean, I put a lot of work into these and I hope you're enjoying them as much as I enjoy putting them out. And, uh, I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.